welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going through with you all of my everyday and favorite jewelry pieces that I wear repeatedly on a day-to-day -day basis and you guys see in my videos. So I have kind of like my everyday jewelry that I want to share with you where I get some of my jewelry from and websites and companies that I like and then a few more like not so everyday pieces that I really like as well. So let's just get right into the video. What I'm wearing right now is like my everyday jewelry. So I've got a little earring, one or two necklaces on. I don't usually wear these together, but sometimes I will. And then my wedding ring and two rings. So we'll go over those first and then we'll kind of get into a few other things that I have. So the first thing is these earrings here. And I got these from an Etsy shop called Minimal Bijou. I think she's based out of Korea or something. And I think these are really, really pretty. They're just a real gold hoop with cubic zirconia, small cubic zirconia around. I find myself wearing these probably the most out of any of my earrings, but I actually purchased them to wear on my wedding day. And what I like about these and like her jewelry from that Etsy shop is that it's real gold, so you can wash, you can shower with it and get it wet and it's not gonna tarnish, but then it's not real diamonds, which you can't really tell anyways. So you're saving some money there. I love things that are real gold with cubic zirconia because you can't necessarily tell that it's not real diamonds, but you're not going to have issues with tarnishing. So those are the earrings that I wear all the time. I think they're like super casual or you can like they're really delicate and you can dress them up like they're super universal. So I absolutely love these earrings. And then I always have my gold hoops up here. I kind of forget that these are even in my ear a lot of times. These are just um, like infinity hoops so they don't have like a closure i can't get them in and out myself you have to use like pliers to open them or go to like a piercing shop to do that for you so i actually bought these they're like 14 karat gold or something through a piercing shop but you could purchase a thin gold um like infinity hoop like this like something like this but thinner that actually opens so you can get it in and out if you want to um and then i have another one that i used to wear up there that i'll show you guys later so those, uh, that's kind of like what's always on my ear. And then for necklaces, I have my two most worn gold necklaces. So this first one is a really pretty curved bar necklace and it's 14 karat gold. And then it has tiny little diamonds, almost like almond shaped diamonds in there. And they are real diamonds. So Josh actually bought this for me for Christmas two or three years ago from Neiman Marcus and I could not find the actual designer or the link for a long time. You guys would ask me for it so I would give you like an alternative but I did actually find the exact necklace online today so I will link that below. It is definitely more expensive. It's like a fine jewelry price point so Again, it was a gift from Josh and I absolutely love it. I can shower with this, swim with this, anything I want, which I love jewelry pieces like that that are kind of indestructible. But I will also link a more affordable option because there's lots of necklaces out there that look like this. You could get a real gold with cubic zirconia or you could just get like a cheap one that's not real gold as well. And then this necklace that I wear all the time, you guys ask me about this one a lot, is from the brand, I think you say Belladar. Um, I followed them on Instagram. They have really classic but kind of that trendy gold look going on and I really wanted a crescent necklace like this. So they have this one and then they have a mini one. This is like the fuller size one. And the chain that it came on actually broke a while back. So I ordered this chain on Amazon. It was like a super cheap chain that had really good reviews and it's been a really great match. It's worked really well and I don't shower with this necklace because it's not real gold but it hasn't tarnished or anything with you know perfumes or lotions or anything like that so i wear those all the time you guys see those and as far as rings go um i wear my wedding ring every day so i'll quickly mention this but obviously this is a fine jewelry piece but i absolutely love my engagement and wedding ring so my engagement ring is an oval diamond it's like cathedral style so it sits down into the band there so it sticks up pretty high which I actually thought was gonna be a huge issue and it's not really for me. And then I just have like this middle band of diamonds 
that goes that like tapers smaller and then it has two tiny rows of diamonds on either side so I love my engagement ring like there's not a single thing that I would change about it I absolutely love it and we got my engagement ring at Shanko, if you guys are curious. And then my wedding band is just a really simple, um, tiny diamond gold, they're both yellow gold band. And it basically is the same size as the tiny diamonds on the bottom row of my engagement ring. And I love having the two separate pieces because a lot of days I don't need to wear this or I don't wanna wear this. And when I'm working out and stuff, I can just wear this one. It's been pretty indestructible. It's really pretty on its own. I think it's gorgeous. And I don't mind working out in this or on just casual days that I don't wanna wear both. I can wear it by itself. So I'm really glad I didn't have them all attached because I love the option of doing one or the other. And then they sandwich together really nicely. So that's my wedding stuff. Um, and then on my right hand, I usually just wear two kind of like thinner gold rings. So I have this one here from Majuri or Majuri. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's like a beaded, really simple uh, 14 karat gold ring. So rings are really important to me that they're real gold for the most part because you're washing your hands and they're gonna tarnish really, really quickly. So something really skinny and thin like this isn't really that expensive if you want to do real gold so this one's 14 karat gold i think it's only 60 70 dollars which isn't terrible because i wear it every day and then this other one is a really great affordable option so this one is like if you can see the inside of the ring there it's almost like hollowed out to make it super affordable but I got this and I used to have a matching one that I would wear and then I got this other one because I lost the other one is from like those random gold kiosks in the middle of the mall. So I think this one is from Piercing Pagoda and I want to say it was like 40 or $50 and it's like maybe 10 karat gold. But I wear that all the time, all the time. I've had it for like three or maybe even four or three years now and it hasn't tarnished at all. So that's what I wear on this hand for the most part. Sometimes I'll do an extra one on this finger. And for that, I would check out um, Charming Charlie, that jewelry store. It's kind of really, it's very juvenile. It reminds me of like Claire's, but sometimes they'll have packs of gold, cheap gold rings. So if you don't wanna invest in real gold rings or you just wanna do it for like a trend and it's not gonna be something you wear every day, I would check out Charming Charlie because they actually come in bigger sizes because I can't fit my big fingers into like the super tiny rings. I need bigger sizes for that. So that is my everyday jewelry that I pretty much wear consistently on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so now we'll go into some other earrings and things that I have. Okay, so these little diamond studs are actually fake cubic zirconia. Nordstrom stud. So Nordstrom brand has made these for years and have multiple sizes, shapes, and metals. So I cannot figure out what size I have. I think these are one carat, maybe like a three quarters carat if they have that option. I was looking online and the 0.5 looks a little small. So I think these might be one, but I'm not sure. They don't really look like one carat to me. So I'm not sure the size on these. I'll try and link what options I think they are, but these are just my favorite everyday um, like diamond studs that I wear. Like I said, they're cubic zirconia, and I don't even think they might be real gold, but I'm not sure I have the gold setting. There's also like a silver setting that you can get. And they last really, really well. I shower and sleep in these all the time. I've had these for years. I've bought multiple pairs of them, lost them, all those things. And I just think they're really nice. You can't really tell that they're not a real diamond. The quality is really nice. You can clean them so they're you know a little more shiny and everything. But these are great every day. I say between these hoops and these diamonds, that's like my everyday earring. These are a little more like sporty. I guess if you're more into studs, these are kind of a basic and they're a little more sporty as well. So I love those and they are a really nice price point. Most of them are under $50. 
All right, this next one is also by Majuri, and that is my like new favorite brand of fine, affordable jewelry because a lot of fine jewelry is really expensive and you're like, I just don't, I want real gold, but I just don't feel like I need to spend that much. And that's exactly where they come in. These ones are a little more expensive because they're thicker, but these are their bold hoop and they're again, real gold but they're not like completely outrageous. This would be a great thing to ask for for a gift as far as price point. I think they might be like 150. I don't find myself wearing these as much, but I think they're really, really pretty. They're very simple. They go with everything. So I love these ones. And then I have one more pair from Majuri as well. And these are their sapphire hoops. So it's just a skinnier gold hoop with a little dangly, it looks like a little cubic zirconia, like a tiny one, but it's actually a little sapphire, I guess. These are really cute, also very delicate, very everyday. They just have that little tiny dangly on them. I don't find myself wearing these ones as much, even though I really like them, so I need to just kind of get them in the rotation, but these are really, really cute, super delicate, a little more feminine, maybe. Okay, and then this last pair was my first pair of gold hoops. These are by the brand uh, Georgiana or Geor Georgiana, however you say that. These are the Tanner or Tanner mini hoops from Nordstrom. They're very affordable as well. I think they're real gold. Um, they're just a really simple, kind of almost hammered thin hoop. And these ones actually are open in the back. So they have a clasp. So. That's kind of the size. They're really pretty, very everyday as well. Delicate, they're easy to get on and, on and off because they have this type of back to them. So these are really easy to find. Like I said, at Nordstrom, they've had them for years and then they also have these in other metals as well. I'm really into yellow gold as you can see, but a lot of these come in other metals like rose gold if you like that or most of these come in like a silver option as well. And then the last little earring I wanted to mention is this really small, diamond um hoop it's tiny like that and i used to have two of them and i got these taken out and i wore these up in my cartilage you could also wear these on your lobe if you wanted to they're just going to be very tight fitting to the ear so they're not going to hang down at all they're just going to be really cute and small they're the same minimal bijou brand as the first pair that i showed you that i love the quality is really nice. This is the pair that I wear all the time. And then this is from the same brand. They're just a 14 karat gold hoop with the cubic zirconia little fake diamonds. And this is the 5.5 millimeter. And the one that I normally wear is a nine millimeter. They're both actually cartilage earrings. I just choose to wear the bigger ones in my hoops, but you could, or in my lobes, but you could wear those up here too. So here's the five millimeter. I think I lost the other one. These actually look really pretty down here. I never really wore them like that. So if you like something a little tighter fitting to the ear, this one's really pretty. And this one has like one row of cubic zirconia and the other ones that I wear, it's almost like tiny, tinier ones. It's like two rows, so they're slightly different. Okay, switching into my not so everyday jewelry. I have on these bigger gold hoops. These are from Five and Two Jewelry, which is one of the other kind of newer um, discoveries I found, and I love their stuff. It's pretty affordable. Um, I would say it's, I'm not sure, I think they have some stuff that's real gold, some that's not, these definitely are not. These are like a bulkier, kind of more event earring for me. Some people wear big earrings like this every day, but that's not necessarily my style. Um, these are just really pretty to dress up a simple black outfit or a simple outfit. I like to accessorize with the jewelry because I'm always traveling. So instead of having all these intricate outfits, it's so much easier and simpler to accessorize and style yourself that way. I think these are called the Jill Hoops and I think they're really, really fun. I wear them like on a night out or something like that to dress up. They're pretty comfortable. I like how the wide they are where they hit your ear because um, if you haven't noticed I have a lot of other holes on my ear so I like to kind of hide those whenever possible um, but they're pretty comfortable the quality is pretty good they have tarnished in a few spots just a little bit but you can't really tell 
So those are super fun. And then I have this really beautiful choker necklace. This is from the brand Argento Vivo, also available at Nordstrom. And this is a really pretty choker with these little um, dangly things. I have it on a little looser today just because I don't like it super tight but you can adjust it in the back so if you want it to be like a true choker or a little lower and more comfortable and then i actually wore this choker paired with the crescent under it once and i thought that looked really really pretty together so what i love is how interchangeable and um like layerable these pieces are so i love this choker i was checking online for you guys before this video and it's on sale right now for super cheap like 20 something bucks but um it said there's only one left on the nordstrom website so i'm not sure you might be able to hunt it down in store if you really really like it and then it did come in one other metal and i don't think that one was as low in stock so there's that all right, and then the last fun pair of earrings I have are these really cute tortoise shell earrings. They're either acrylic or plastic. These are really, really in right now. You can find them almost every anywhere. Um, I ordered these from Five and Two, and this is the Audrey hoop. So it's they have a few different tortoise ones. I think this is one of the bigger ones, um, and it's like the brown tortoise. They also have more of like a grayish tortoise i think these are super fun they're extremely comfortable just because they're so so light they're not heavy on the ears they add a lot to an outfit or just like a plain black shirt like this i just think they're super cute and fun my hair is getting stuck there we go and I really like these as well. So if you're looking for a few brands to check out, I would recommend checking out Five and Two Jewelry, Belladar, Belladar, I think that's how you say it, and Majuri. Those are like three of the newer kind of updated sites I've liked to shop on and where I've gotten a lot of these things over the past year or so. Besides the little stud earrings, a lot of these are kind of like new developments in my jewelry collection. Um, and then check out the minimal bijou etsy site all this is going to be linked below but i am super impressed by the quality of the hoops that i've gotten from her and they last super well they're really really awesome um so check those out too as you can see i kind of have like this smaller curated collection of yellow gold because that's what i like to wear and again able to find a somewhat affordable price with the real gold and sometimes real diamond or the cubic zirconia is the best way to go in my opinion it's how you can get the best quality for the lowest price and so that's why I like those sites but if you don't want to spend a lot and you just kind of want some fun fashion jewelry again Charming Charlie is a good spot to look they have a whole gold section and if you really hunt through you might be able to find a few like simplistic styles and then Forever 21 always has super cheap affordable gold jewelry and I have a lot of necklaces from them in the past but the quality is very poor they either break or tarnish very quickly so for those I don't really like to purchase them as much anymore just because I'd rather have pieces that last really well and I really love and can rewear all the time um, some of those you can get lucky and rewear all the time but they don't usually last as well and they are going to tarnish and turn and they might turn your skin as well so that's why I've kind of found these other sites they're not super high-end they're not super over-the-top pricey but they're gonna give you that quality for what you pay for. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and you enjoyed seeing my little jewelry collection. I love the delicate fine gold jewelry as you guys noticed and I think a lot of you guys do too. So hopefully you enjoyed this and again, I'll have everything linked down below. If you have questions, you can always leave them there and I'll see you guys in my next video.